Hey, what's up, friends? Welcome back to the Archvision Fan Jam. My name is Anton. Hopefully, all of you guys are having a fantastic day because it is Throwback Thursday. If this goes up on Throwback Thursday, but this should go up on Rocket Metal Day. But anyway, we're going to be revisiting Pop Evil in a very special way. So, Pop Evil actually reached out to moi. I know. I feel very special being reached out to by uh, one of my favorite bands of all time, man. These guys are top 10 material for me. I love. Everybody in this band, you know, Lee's one of my favorite frontmen. Haley is an incredible drummer. I uh, just, you know, when she came into this band, she spiced things up, I feel. And uh, Nick is just an extraordinary guitarist, too. I feel like as the albums progress, it really kind of shows what he's, uh, what he's made of. And yeah, and then the other members, too, which the names are not coming to mind, but they rock, too. Everybody rocks. And um, before we get into this, though, I do want to say uh, you guys rock. And thank you for all the love and all the support. Also, if any of you have any song suggestions or album suggestions for us to react to, please leave them in the Patreon below. Uh, for example, we're listening to Red um, Beauty and the Beauty and the Rage, is it, this month of March? But anyway, so yeah. And also, if you guys want to get your hands on official merchandise, be sure to check out the Archivision Apparel store down below. If you want to get a hold of me, please do so on Discord. And if you want to check out my podcast which I want to get Leon on one day, uh, be sure to check out the Archivision Podcast link down below. And that's it. So let's get into Pop Evil. Breathe again. Okay, so you guys know I always pause after the first chorus to uh, catch up with the song. And we'll go back 15 seconds for you guys. But uh, man, this is fucking awesome. I feel like this blends... It, this kind of blends like their entire sound into one song. Like this at points is heavy as... You know, heavy as fuck. You know, it, it reminds me of like Let the Chaos Reign a bit. That riff, that main groove is, is heavy. But then the, the verses are extreme, extremely melodic. And then the chorus, obviously, Lee, I just find his voice continues to shine more and more with every single album. And this kind of gives me a bit of like um, the, um, the self-titled Pop Evil record. I've heard most of it. I think I just, the only songs I haven't heard are Be Legendary and um, Waking Alliance because I've been saving them for reactions. But like I felt that album sounded super you know, large and, and spacious and epic. And I feel like this, this has that, but it's also crunchy and gritty at the same time, which again, I just feel like that's like pop evils bread and butter is merging that, you know, melodicism and the, the intensity and the, and the grit so well. And this is six so far, but anyway, let's get back into it. I can finally breathe again. <laughs> This is sick too. Heavy.
this like another 10 seconds. You gonna do anything, Lee? Wow. Wow. That was fucking awesome. I th I think that like that's in my top five pop evil songs already, I think. I, I think the songwriting in this song is impeccable. Um and again, I, I wanna reiterate, I think what's so special about this song is how it bridges the heavy and the melodic. I, I think that that line is just perfectly crossed in this. Um, like how heartfelt and catchy the verse was. And Lee, once again, and I always mention this, I like it when artists put a lot of effort into their verse melodies because I feel like that is often overlooked. I feel like everybody puts all of their, you know... They put everything into the chorus, which is like great. The chorus to me is the most important part of the song because it's the glue, it's the crescendo, it's the climax of the song. The it's usually the emotional climax, right? And so if you if you like, there's so many songs where the verses like could be great, but if the chorus doesn't land, it just I, I can't in my right mind say it's like one of my favorite songs where there's songs where I don't like the verses, you know, they're, it's not like I don't like the verses, but the verses are okay, but the chorus is incredible and I resonate with it on such a high level that I'll call it one of my favorite songs. And where, what I loved about this is that I love the verses and the chorus. And, and again, one other thing that I thought was so good about the song was how dynamic it was literally from a songwriting perspective how i had a proper bridge something that a lot of bands miss nowadays a lot of bands have verse chorus verse chorus the bridge is something super simple and it's, it's just like i'm like i'll just like kind of fade everything out it'll be like a clean guitar and i'll just you know say the same thing four times and go back in the chorus where i found with this like it, it actually mixed things up i found like again how I know this had a lot to it is that what I'm trying to think of this song just now is kind of like a Rubik's Cube in my head. I'm like, oh yeah, was the first verse and the second chorus the same? The, the first verse, the second verse the same? Um, what, like, It's kind of a bit jumbled in my head, meaning there was dynamics. Because you know me, like most songs, I can be like, oh, I'll, you know, it's very clear, the parts of the song. Where I was like, okay, verse, chorus, verse, chorus. Where this, it bled and it evolved. And it, it took me on a journey, an emotional journey, where the verse and the pre-chorus and the, you know, the bridge, they all flowed. The, the, there, there was a feeling of rising tension throughout the entire song that um, I'm just honestly impressed by. And I feel like Lee, everybody in the song, like, like I feel like Nick... Um, again, I think he writes the, the majority of the riffs and, and the songs um, like that, but man, his riffs are, are getting like really good. I just, I've noticed that with Let the Chaos Reign, just the mixing, the, the punch of the mix in these songs are just, there, yeah, there's a power to it that, you know, I feel like the mix is so important to get in music to, to give it that, that drive. And what I like about this stuff too is the mix of this is that it's clean. It's punchy, but it's clean. And there's a lot of room for, I think, bass. It's, it sounds like a very wide mix. Um, open and big, cl you know, climactic. Which I really like. It seems like um, definitely this Pop Evil record and this record have a similar mix. I think that they're probably done by the same record producer, I'm guessing. I don't know that. But yeah, there just seems to be a similarity in the mix. And yeah, Lee just... Pff, Lee always kills it. Lee is... And again, Lee is such a dynamic vocalist where he's one of my favorite crooners. Like when he's just doing ballads, like Monster You Made, like I said, Somebody Like You, you know, he, I feel like to be one of my favorite vocalists, they have to master slow songs and aggressive songs. Because uh, there's some artists where they're amazing when they're aggressive and, and powerful, but I don't know, they just... They don't hit the mark for me when they're doing um, the slower stuff, when, they, when they're when they stripped down and, you know, they can't show vulnerability 
where I, I find Lee can show, like that's what you need for a ballad. For a slow song, you need to be able to convey emotion, vulnerability, and he's able to do that. And he's able to to do that like trademark Lee swagger in like the heavy stuff, like the chaos rain is just such a, a, you know, a song with so much attitude, you know? And again, this is just, this again, showed almost like the whole side of lee you know that more stripped back melodic poppy approach to the you know a bit more heavy at times and for the most part i think if i recall correctly this was mostly in the melodic territory vocally where the song itself the instrumental was a bit more heavier uh, but i need to listen to this quite a few more times but i know i've been uh going off on this because yeah, man, I'm impressed. I, I'm super excited about their uh, this new record. And uh, thank you again, Haley, for uh, reaching out. You rock. And Haley was really cool. She uh, she has spunk to her. She's a, she's a fun emailer. Some people in the email are just really dry, but yeah, she had a good attitude towards her. So that was cool. And uh, anyway, hopefully all of you guys enjoyed this video and sung as much as I did. And Gotta say that too. I love the video. I just, I love how trippy it was. I love, like we, I just listened to While She Sleeps, um, You Are All You Need. And that had a trippy video too. And I'm in the mood for these, these kind of psychedelic videos or simulation theory kind of videos. They're just, they're entertaining. So anyway, um, again, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did and you want to support the channel, best way to do so is like the video. That'd be great. And if you resonate with everything we're doing, definitely subscribe. That'd be fantastic. And like I said before, if any of you have any song um, recommendations or album recommendations, leave them down below on the Patreon. If you want to get your hands on official apparel, check out the apparel store down below. If you want to check out um, my podcast, I'll leave a link to the Arc Vision podcast down below. And if you want to get a hold of me, please do so on Discord. And if you want to hang out with everybody, check out the Discord server. And that's it. So I'll see all of you again tomorrow. I love you guys. Peace.